What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, Mark Stock Review, video on sundial growers. Catalysts and reason why the Alcana deal will turn into a snowball effect with a massive increase in share price. I'm going to very clearly lay out the reasons to consider buying before the earnings report. This video is going to be brief and to the point to respect your time. All I ask in return is a thumbs up and to consider subscribing. So that said, let's get right into it. Sundial has two major deadlines coming up, both of which can make or break this company. Deadline number one, the Nasdaq gave them a 180 day extension to re gain compliance with the minimum bid requirement of keeping the share price above $1 for 10 consecutive days. It's possible they could do a reverse split, however unlikely because that would just be delaying the inevitable. Plus they would probably do a 4 to 1 split, not a 2 to 1 split, that would be too risky. And so the way that I see Sundial getting out of this Nasdaq compliance issue is going to be dependent on deadline number 2, which I'll get into now. They have until March 30th to complete the acquisition of Alcana, but the announcement, either positive or negative, will most likely be during the earnings report tomorrow, March 29th. The deal was originally proposed back in October, but there were subsequent delays and resistance. So in January, Sundial sweetened to the deal by adding cash to the proposition. But unfortunately, in February, the deal was extended, which casted doubt on whether it would even occur at all. Now, it's possible they could agree on another extension. However, in my opinion, that would destroy the stock's momentum and cause serious questions about delisting. So hopefully that does not occur. Okay, so four major points that this deal does go through. First, the retail platform gets a major boost. Sundial will have a combined 171 liquor stores and 180 cannabis stores in Canada, making it Canada's largest retailer. Number two, Sundial actually will be acquiring two companies, not one. Alcana currently holds a 63% stake in Nova, which operates 62 stores. This adds to the retail platform, but more importantly, creates cost synergies. Number three, huge revenue boost, adding roughly 15 million in additional earnings. Combined entity will go from net losses to generating profits. Number four, Alcana's liquor business helps both directly and indirectly. A portion of the profits from the liquor business goes directly to the cannabis sector helping it operate smoothly. Indirectly, Alcana's liquor business is huge, accounting for 79% of their overall revenue and 100% of their profits. This fact alone will attract additional investor money which can then be reallocated to Sundial's cannabis sector. And don't forget Sundial's diversification strategy. They are collecting a high rate of interest via financing other cannabis companies. Next, the Alcana deal snowball effect. NASDAQ deadline worries disappear, erasing a psychological barrier for many investors. Share price goes up. Investors are now paying for a profitable business, multiple goes up dramatically, share price goes up further. The deal creates a huge spike in sales, Sundial then becomes an attractive takeover target, share price goes up further on the speculation. Volume will go up, social media hype will increase, leading to a short squeeze. But it won't stop there because now there's plenty of room to run organically. And very quickly, I do need to mention the house decriminalization bill that everybody is talking about. It's important to note the following. Number one, this house bill already passed in December of 2020 and it may pass again. However, what's important is that it also must pass in the Senate as well. Supposedly, there are not enough Democrats on board for the bill to pass in the Senate. Chuck Schumer would need every Democrat plus some Republicans as well in order to hit 60. So here are the two key takeaways. Even if the bill does pass the House, it does not mean there will be legislation to legalize marijuana. And number two, regarding Sundial, in my opinion, this bill is not the major catalyst since it pertains to all cannabis stocks. The real catalyst is the Alcana deal. And to be fair, Sundial is a risky stock. If there's no deal or even a delay in deal, there could be a buyout at an unattractive price as Sundial would have no leverage and would need a lifeline. And meanwhile, the share price would likely decline as the delisting risk would intensify. And as always, I keep these videos short and to the point to respect your time. All I ask for is a thumbs up and to consider subscribing if you haven't already. Also, let me know if you have any recommendations for future videos. Have a great rest of your day and I'll talk to you very soon. Take care.